All right, guys. Um, I thought I'd come to you today and show you how I liven up my wash and go that gets pulled back into ponytails. So, um, first let me tell you how I get it in the ponytails at night. Like you saw my hair in the wash and go. And basically what I do is I spritz it with um, my water glycerin mix. And um, I spritz it just until it's kind of like, you know, movable and I can manipulate it. Um, yesterday, before I put the water glycerin mix in, I put my shea butter in. This is my African shea butter. Um, and you know, since I colored my hair, I could tell it really, really needed this. So <clears throat> um, it is a significant amount drier than um, it would otherwise be. So I'm trying to be, you know, on top of keeping it moisturized daily. I didn't really, I only moisturized it maybe once a week um, and then did my deep conditioner. And I see now I think I'm going to have to moisturize it every day because I put, not a ton, but I put um, a substantial amount of shea butter in my hair last night. And my hair feels like it all soaked in. I mean, it's not, you know, sitting up on my hair. I can't see it or anything like that. Um... It really needed it. So for those of you out there that have color, even if it's a darker color and, you know, you didn't do anything to put, you know, you didn't put any type of bleach in your hair or whatever, you'll probably still need some type of um, heavy-duty heavy uh, moisturizing routine. See? It's, it's that time. It's that time. Okay. Because <laughs> I can't talk straight. Okay, so anyway... Um, so what I do is, you know, I pull it back in the um, ponytails after I wet it down. And you'll notice you see, you know, two little things right here. And that's because my, whoops, well, that was clipped up by a bobby pin. This hair in the front here doesn't quite go all the way back. So it starts to pop out like that when I pull it back in the ponytail. And... The other piece is, even though I could kind of get it to stay, um, this gets flattened out. And I don't like this to be flat. I like it to look like it has body. Now, actually, this came out better than it normally does. Normally, it's still kind of flat. But you see, I, I put them right on top of my head. And I do that so that when I sleep, they're not down here and getting smushed by my pillow and stuff like that. The other thing I want to point out is when I first started doing the ponytails, I kind of had the ponytail like, let me show you. Um, I kind of had the ponytail more like this. You see? And when I would sleep at night, it would get smushed up like that. So... I started putting the ponytail more towards the back, like you see this one. And that keeps, you know, my curls intact. I mean, they get a little smushed, but nothing like they did when I had my ponytail sticking out like that. Okay, so when I take it down in the morning, what I do is I take this down. And you see it's a little bit not, you know, it's a little stiff. And it, and it has some crinks in it because of the bobby pins. So what I do is I take my water and glycerin mix and I just I hold whoops I hold it like that and I just spray the ends and I kind of go like that and make sure they have some water in them um, the reason I do this is twofold today it looks like I really didn't need to but normally my curls are a little bit flat which I'm not I don't like I don't like my curls to be flat I don't like them to look completely stretched out. I like them to look natural. So again, so I spray the ends and just get them wet so they can, you know, kind of do what they do. All right, so that's that. And then when I take the ponytails out, I try to be careful and I just, I can't remember who I saw that. Well, I've seen a couple people do this, so it's not unique. But I just stick my hair up through the ponytail holder, and then I pull it out. And I do the same thing on this side. 
okay and then I go up <clears throat> underneath in the back and I pull it down like that and I pull it up like that and um, it, I actually have a pick that I use but I found my hair is starting to get used to this process so it'll kind of close the um, the part on its own without me having to use the pick. So yeah, I think that's pretty much closed. And um, and I'm pretty much done. Um, the only thing that ah. I will do is I will go like this, but I usually do that after my front is dried and my front is still drying. Um, but that's really, really simple, guys. And um, it looks pretty nice. The curls are still defined, as you can see. Um, the only thing that... And I, I did a tutorial on putting the ponytails in. So if you want to know how to put the ponytails in, you know, without messing up your curls and stuff like that, check out um, that video. But um, the only thing I've noticed for me personally is that the first row of my hair right here gets a little bit frizzy because the hair is so fine right here. See, it gets like stretched out and kind of frizzy. I'm not crazy about that look. So what I've been considering, and maybe I'll try it, I'll try it right now while we're on here, um, <clears throat> is wetting this down too. Just to give it a little bit more definition, because this gets really stretched out, and this hair isn't as resilient, I guess, as the rest. I don't know. I don't know. You guys know me and these freaking um, these little sides here. I just go through it. But I was thinking, you know, they're they're fine and they're a little bit drier. So I mean, putting water and glycerin on them every day can't hurt. You know what I mean? But anyway, see, like, look what they're. That's the, <laughs> that's the other thing like when you stretch them out they don't bounce back like the rest of my hair I wish I knew I don't know whatever you just you know you have to love the certain the different parts of your hair for who they are you can't make them be something they're not and you certainly can't make them do something they don't want to do All right, so these will shrink up to about half the length of the rest of the hair by the time they're dry, even though now they look like they're hanging down really low. All right, so um, so that's that. So it'll take about five minutes for those little spritzes that I did to dry. It's, you know, it's not a complete wet down. It's just kind of like wetting the tips so that you get kind of all the frizziness out or you liven the curl back up. Like, look at this. See that now? It wasn't flat today, but normally they are flat, and then they go back to this. Like when I spray the ends, they'll go back to, to being curly. And um, that's it. So everybody have a wonderful Saturday. Ciao.